never make it be about the end result. Mm. Make it be about effort. Mm. Every day you're overcoming. Every day you're out of the bleachers and you're on the field and you're giving it your all and you're practicing, keeping your energy up greater than your habits in your <laughs> body or the emotional conditioning of your body, greater than any circumstance in your environment mm. and sustaining it for an extended period of time. And then all of a sudden, when you're connected to the energy of your future, Mm. and you know what that feels like, yeah. you will know the moment you return back to the energy of your past. And if you tell me it's because of your boss or your coworker or your ex, I'm gonna say, ah, oh, <laughs> you're back to the unconscious program that yeah. you're the victim of your life, right? Absolutely. So then, so then it, it takes some unlearning and the, the unlearning process is the most important process because once you do that, you're clearing out room for the next creation to be easier mm. and the next one to be easier because you're starting to understand the formula a little better. And you start saying, I'm not gonna take that personally or I'm not gonna react or I'm not gonna go back to that person again. I'm just gonna self-regulate again. Yeah. You only need a few experiences to know that this is the truth. And then you start making, start managing your attention and you manage your energy a lot better. And I think that I, I, I always say, I don't care that you fall off the horse. I just care when you get back on, right? Mm -hmm. Because some people mm -hmm. fall off and then they have to go into guilt and analysis and, and they take weeks. And well, you could have just said, eh, I fell off. Let me just get back on and keep going here. Do you ever notice that you always manifest more money when you are relaxed, when you actually don't need it that much? And what happens when you need it? There is no way you could get it. If you want to learn why is that, then this video is for you. Money holds different meanings for everyone, but we all agree that it's crucial in our daily lives. It's more than just paper. It's a powerful force, a kind of spiritual energy affecting our lives. Some people see money only as a way to pay bills and fulfill personal desires, but its spiritual meaning goes beyond its physical form. Money can be a tool for personal and collective growth, offering opportunities to create positive change and improve communities. From a spiritual perspective, it's like an energy exchange, representing the flow of resources and the interconnectedness of individuals and communities. Money isn't inherently good or evil. It takes on the qualities and intentions we assign to it. How you earn, spend, save, and share money reflects your values and consciousness. Understanding the spiritual meaning of money involves developing a conscious relationship with it. It requires examining your beliefs, fears, and attachments related to money and aligning your financial choices with your spiritual values. It's about cultivating an attitude of abundance and generosity. Money is seen as spiritual energy, and as the saying goes, as God gives, you must give. Knowing that money can support your higher purpose or a social cause allows you to make a positive impact in the world. Giving or donating to a cause aligning with your values infuses your financial resources with spiritual energy. This act benefits not only the recipients, but also enhances your spiritual well-being, fostering interconnectedness and a deeper understanding of abundance. When you view money as spiritual energy, you recognize its potential for positive change. By consciously directing your financial resources toward causes that resonate with your spiritual values, you contribute to the greater good and create a ripple effect of positive energy. Aligning your spiritual energy and money means considering them as complementary aspects, intertwined and influencing each other. Nurturing your spiritual well-being and aligning it with your financial goals creates a harmonious flow of energy that supports overall abundance. Giving generously leads to receiving abundantly. It's better to give than to receive. This idea applies to various parts of life, including money. The law of giving is like a universal rule. It's perfect, unchangeable, and everlasting. It doesn't care about who you are, whether you're seen as good or bad. If you give with love in your heart, you'll receive abundance in return. The law of giving works on the principle 
of reciprocity. When we give freely and selflessly, it creates positive energy that eventually comes back to us. People who focus only on getting without giving, without having a generous spirit, might find themselves spiritually declining. They become attached to material things, and the energy and abundance that come with money start to fade because they lack the essential element of the spiritual law. True wealth isn't just about financial gain. It includes the richness of the heart and spirit. To truly thrive and maintain spiritual abundance, it's crucial to embrace a mindset of giving and generosity. By sharing your blessings and supporting others with love and compassion, you uplift yourself and contribute to the greater good. Remember that everyone's beliefs about money may differ, but there are always opportunities to improve your financial situation. Embracing the idea that there's a way for you to make more money opens you up to possibilities and proactive steps toward financial growth. Increasing financial success goes beyond material gain. It involves cultivating an abundance mindset, gaining financial knowledge, taking strategic actions, and being open to opportunities. Understand your relationship with money deeply. Reflect on how you perceive money, your feelings about having it or not, and what it truly means to you. Challenge the belief that money is the root of all evil. Money is not bad if used for a good cause. Recognize its power for positive change. Embrace money as spiritual energy and welcome more abundance into your life. Acknowledge that your financial circumstances reflect your inner state. If you're facing financial challenges, there may be underlying issues that need healing. Whether you're a business person, executive, employee, or just an individual, practice giving. Use the energy of money to benefit others and make a positive difference. Even small acts of generosity can have a profound impact. Everything in life can be thought of as vibrations. Quantum physics, which looks at the behavior of tiny particles, supports this idea. You're learning that things vibrate at various frequencies or speeds. When you connect with what you truly want, it vibrates, and you can draw more of it into your life. To see the law of attraction working for you, first, think about the importance you give to things. The key is the meaning you attach to them. Sometimes, you put certain things on a pedestal, giving them more power than they naturally have. For example, money's power depends on the meaning you give it. Your thoughts and beliefs about money shape how it affects you. Money often carries emotional weight for you. It goes beyond its physical value and represents different feelings and desires. For instance, if your goal is to earn $10,000, it may symbolize freedom, security, or success. Recognizing the emotional aspect of money helps you form a healthier relationship with it and make better financial choices. To understand this, learn to raise your own vibration to manifest things more effectively. When you really want something, unintentionally creating a sense of separation can make you feel dissatisfied. This happens when you feel lack or scarcity. Find a balance between setting new goals and being content with what you have. Appreciating your achievements can bring more fulfillment. Allow yourself to feel the desired emotion first to create that feeling within yourself. Emotions play a significant role in manifestation. Combining the feeling of abundance with your actions can lead to overall abundance. Pursuing your passions and following your heart can raise your vibration, making you resonate with opportunities around you. In this new mindset, examine the general meaning you give to money. Ask yourself if you're approaching money from a mindset of lack or abundance. Understanding this can help you create a more positive 
and fulfilling relationship with money. Changing your viewpoint to abundance opens the door to more prosperity and opportunities. Abundance is present in every part of life. Your perception of abundance or lack is influenced by what you focus on. If you feel a lack in your life, it often comes from thinking too much about scarcity. Constantly focusing on what you lack reinforces a mindset of scarcity. If you focus on money, you're likely to attract more of it into your life. Setting high goals, like aiming for $50,000, is good. Dreaming big is encouraged because the effort is the same, whether you think of $50,000 or $10. Be careful of materialism. Your desire for things can make you blind to the abundance you already have. When you see signs of abundance, be grateful for them. Gratitude keeps you humble and helps you appreciate where you are financially. Remember, things change when you change yourself. Approach the process gently, avoid overanalyzing, and don't give too much importance to money. Find a balance and keep a healthy perspective on wealth and abundance. Use your natural talents to create a personalized model that works for you. Recognize your worth and feel deserving of what you want to manifest. Gaining awareness lets go of putting things on pedestals and brings a balanced perspective. This shift in mindset allows the law of attraction to work more effectively. Understand that the ultimate goal is not just external outcomes, but the emotions and passion associated with how you want to be in life. Aligning with your desired emotions and passions empowers you to create your reality. Money becomes a byproduct of pursuing and embodying your goals. Cultivate the awareness that money is energy and emotion. It holds no inherent value, but derives significance from the value you provide to others or pursuing your passions. Create value for others through your skills, talents, products, or services, and you're likely to attract financial abundance. Engage in activities aligned with your passions and joy, and money often follows naturally. This perspective helps you approach money in a healthy and empowered way, focusing on creating value, following your passions, and embodying your true desires. Most people prefer reaching for their cell phones, texting, hopping on the internet, or tuning into TV, just to distract themselves from that awkward moment. But here's the deal. That discomfort is the doorway to personal freedom. Step one, becoming conscious. Meditation is the key, a way to become familiar with and understand their unconscious self. It's about staying so aware that you don't lose consciousness of any thought, behavior, or emotion. But it takes a lot of energy and constant awareness to pull this off. Now, if you're afraid of falling from grace, have no worries. You will bounce back each time. It's a journey with ups and downs, and you can't give up. Those moments of connection and transcendental experiences make the tough days worthwhile. It's not the easy meditations that stick in your memory. It's the ones where you push your limits, surrender after a rough day, and have that classic, oh my God moment. There's no straight path in this journey. It's about choosing creation over survival. With time, you'll get better at it. Staying conscious, aware, and present is an art they're mastering. Being present is like paying attention to someone in your life. You know when someone is or isn't present. Similarly, within you, there's this intelligence governing everything, a self-organizing force. To tap into this intelligence, you need to redirect your attention. Shift from being a somebody to a nobody, from a someone to a no one, from something to nothing, from somewhere to nowhere, and from some time to no time. It's a challenge, especially for those deeply invested in their appearance or attached to their possessions and relationships. But with practice, moments of disassociation become easier, transcending the known self and entering the quantum field. 
Amazingly, studies have shown that with practice, individuals can reach a state of being nobody, no one, nowhere, and in no time in mere seconds. Brain scans from Bond University in Australia revealed that during these moments, brain waves slow down into alpha and theta states, suppressing the memory bank of the known self tied to three-dimensional reality. It's a journey of self-discovery beyond the ordinary grind of daily life. Ever wonder how much people really believe that their thoughts can shape their lives? Think about this. How many folks wake up each morning and consciously create their future? The surprising answer is not many. Why? Because deep down, most people don't fully believe it's true. If they were absolutely certain, would they ever skip a day or let unwanted thoughts slip by? According to neuroscience, the brain is like a record of everything you've experienced. It reflects your life and past environment. So here's the million dollar question. Does your environment control your thinking or does your thinking control your environment? Picture this, you wake up, follow the same routine, encounter the same people, and basically replay the same day. Now, did your brain change at all? Even though you might be thinking the same thoughts and doing the same actions secretly, you hope for something different in your life. But as long as your thinking aligns with everything familiar, you keep creating more of the same. The key is to think beyond your environment. Legendary figures like Mahatma Gandhi or Joan of Arc understood this. They had a vision that they couldn't see, smell, taste, or feel. Yet it lived so vividly in their minds that they started living as if it were happening now. Can you believe in a future you can't see or experience yet, but you've imagined it so much that your brain thinks it's already real? Neuroscience says it's totally doable. Your personality shapes your personal reality. Simple as that. It's composed of your thoughts, actions, and emotions. If you want a new reality, you've got to change your thoughts, behaviors, and emotions. Many try to create a new reality with the same old personality, and guess what? It doesn't work. You've got to become somebody else. Here's a cool neuroscience principle. Nerve cells that fire together, wire together. If you keep repeating the same thoughts and actions, your brain follows suit. It creates fixed patterns, forming what we call your personality. So, if you want to break free from the same old routine, start by changing the way you think, act, and feel. It's the secret source to creating a new and exciting personal reality. Imagine your brain as a kind of box, not a literal one, but a collection of wired programs running on repeat. Why? Because we tend to stick to the same routines over and over. Now, to shake things up, you've got to change your mind. That means making your brain work in new sequences, patterns, and combinations. How do you do that? Enter the magic ingredient, knowledge, or information. Learning something new creates fresh connections in your brain. Every time you grasp a new concept, it's like forging new brain links. So, here's the fun part. When you have a positive or happy thought, your brain kicks into a specific sequence, producing a chemical that makes you feel great. On the flip side, negative thoughts trigger a different sequence, making you feel well, not so great. The brain and body are in constant communication. When you feel a certain way, your thoughts follow suit. It becomes a loop. You think the way you feel, and you feel the way you think. Some folks get stuck in this cycle for decades, creating what I call a state of being. This is when your thoughts and feelings align to a concept. 95% of who you are by the time you're 35 is a set of memorized behaviors, reactions, beliefs, and attitudes. It's like a computer program running in the background. 
So when you want to think positively but feel the opposite, it's your conscious mind against the 95% you've memorized. To break free, you've got to recondition your body to sync with a new mindset. Ever met someone who seems to have memorized suffering? They resist change even when offered a good book or an invitation to a fun night out. It's like their brain is insisting on sticking to a familiar order. We've got three brains, yes three. These brains help us move into a new state of being. The quantum field, or universal mind, responds to this state of being, not just your thoughts or feelings. Now here's the twist. Most people only want to change when faced with a crisis, trauma, or loss. But why wait for that? You can learn and change in a state of joy and inspiration, not just pain and suffering. The choice is yours. You don't have to wait for a crisis to transform your life. Embrace the power within you to create positive change and let joy and inspiration be your guiding forces. Remember, you are not bound by the habits of the past. Every moment is an opportunity to rewrite your story, sculpting a new reality that aligns with your dreams. Now, if this journey resonates with you, if you felt the spark of possibility, we invite you to join us on this incredible adventure of self-discovery and transformation. Subscribe to our channel, become part of a community dedicated to growth, positivity, and limitless potential. Your support fuels our mission to spread these empowering messages far and wide. Share this video with those who could use a dose of inspiration and encourage them to embark on their own journey of self-discovery. Let's build a community that uplifts and empowers one another, creating ripples of positive change across the world. Remember, you have the power to shape your destiny. Thank you for being part of this journey, and together, let's create a world where every moment is an opportunity for growth, joy, and boundless success. Subscribe now and share the wisdom.